Hi everyone, it's Heather from Courageous Hearts. I am so excited to be facilitating your upcoming Building Resiliency training. And thank you so much for your willingness to serve as breakout room facilitators. I have put together facilitator roles and responsibilities so you'll know what your job is and how to fulfill it. And again, thank you for doing this. If it was a larger group in person, I could just tell everybody where we're at, but in breakout rooms, it's just very different on Zoom. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen with you. And here's the roles and responsibilities for the breakout room facilitators. The absolute most important thing is as a timekeeper and designating how much time each person has to share. So let's talk about that. First bullet, facilitate who will share and when. You can ask who would like to share next, or you could simply call on somebody to share, whatever works for you. The second bullet, it's up to you based on how much time is designated for the group to calculate approximately how much time per person they get to share. So for example, if there's eight person in your group and that includes yourself because you'll be fully participating and there's 24 minutes, it's about three minutes per person. Sometimes it won't be an easy divide because when Zoom breaks down the group, sometimes there'll be four people in a group, sometimes there'll be five. It's not always gonna be an even number. So say, for example, sometimes there will be a different number of people placed in each breakout room. So the total time will not be easily divided into the number in your room. So for example, there may be five people in your group and there's 22 minutes designated. I would advise to lean on the side of being conservative. So that would be approximately four minutes per person. Um, do your best to approximate time um, and make sure that you designate and you kind of sparse out the time in a way so everybody can share equally. That third bullet there, you can let people know how much time is remaining and you can do it in any way that you want. Um, this, the first kind of sub bullet there, what I would recommend is setting a timer for each person. It's a really just very fair and objective way to do it. Also, you don't have to interrupt and say, oh, you have one minute or your time is up. The timer will do it for you. So you can pay full attention and participate in the group. It's really great, to, especially if, if it's like a five minute amount of time each person gets, to give them about a, a minute um, timeline, like, hey, you have a minute left. So say somebody has five minutes to share, set the timer for four minutes. It'll go off and, and you can say, okay, you have one minute left or they'll hear the timer. And then um, you can set the timer for one more minute. It's really important and sometimes it's uncomfortable to say, hey, we need to move on um, if the person continues beyond their time. It's okay to give them a little bit of time to wrap up and most people wrap themselves up, but sometimes you'll have to just let them know, hey, can you please bring that to a close because we need to move on to the next person. Because um, if you don't do that, then the last person won't have enough time to share. So that's a little bit of a tricky thing to do. Um, so the last, well, the third to last bullet, hold the focus and energy of the group to stay on time. And remember, we can only start the main session when all groups have returned. So you're really um, holding the, the focus. So sometimes people get into the breakout room, how's it going? Hey, I see your dog in the background or, you know, how was that uh, Netflix episode? Hey everyone, let's, you know, let, it's great to share about those things and hey, we have this amount of time. So just kind of bringing everybody in a very gentle but firm way back to focus. Also, some people may have background noise. So that will, second to last bullet is help with Zoom specific needs and asking someone to mute themselves if that's needed. Um, and if it's disrupting the group. And if 
you get into the breakout room and there's a question about what you're doing or the purpose of the time, there's a button for you to call in for help, in which case myself or an, another a facilitator um, or an, the assistant who's working with the group, we can come in and help out whatever's needed. So I hope that that was useful. Um, again, I'm looking forward to working with your group. It's going to be fun. We're going to learn a lot together. And please feel free to email me if you have any questions. You can email me at uh, heather at courageoushearts.org. Um, and yes, we'll see you soon.